The Cobra maneuver, used in both fighter jets and carrier-based aircraft, has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Advantages In fighter jets, it is effective for evading enemy missile attacks. For carrier-based aircraft, it assists in safely landing on the carrier's narrow deck. Disadvantages Fighter jets may risk structural damage due to the significant stress on the airframe during the maneuver. Carrier-based aircraft require skilled pilots and incur high training and maintenance costs. Cobra Maneuver The Cobra Maneuver involves a rapid pitch-up of the aircraft during high-speed flight, allowing for a vertical ascent. While effective for evading missile attacks, it poses a risk of structural damage due to the imposed stress on the aircraft. Carrier Landings Carrier landings involve safely landing on a carrier's narrow deck, demanding both pilot expertise and optimal aircraft performance. The Cobra Maneuver can be utilized as a method for carrier landings, notably reducing the required landing distance on the carrier's deck. Especially for carrier-based aircraft, the Cobra Maneuver is employed as an effective means to safely land on the carrier's narrow deck, reducing the necessary landing distance. However, given its demands on pilot skill and aircraft performance, the maneuver incurs substantial training and maintenance costs. The Republic of Korea Air Force trains Cobra maneuvers on F-15K and KF-16 fighter jets, emphasizing the importance of this skill in their operations. Yes, the Cobra maneuver can be easily detected by the enemy radar. The Cobra maneuver involves a fighter jet rapidly pitching up during high-speed flight, leading to a vertical ascent. This maneuver imposes a significant load on the aircraft, causing a rapid decrease in speed. Additionally, as the aircraft pitches up vertically, its radar cross-section increases, making it easily detectable by enemy radar. However, despite the risk of radar detection, the Cobra maneuver remains effective for evading enemy missile attacks. Even if detected by the enemy radar, the maneuver holds significance if it allows the aircraft to successfully evade missile attacks. Nevertheless, Executing the Cobra maneuver requires high pilot proficiency, and the aircraft must meet certain performance standards. Moreover, given the substantial load placed on the aircraft, concerns about potential damage to the airframe arise. Therefore, the Cobra maneuver should be employed as a last resort for evading enemy missile attacks, considering its implications for radar visibility and the demanding skill and performance requirements. Isn't the Cobra maneuver easily picked up by enemy radar? Yes, the Cobra Maneuver can be easily detected by the enemy radar. The Cobra Maneuver involves a fighter jet rapidly pitching up during high-speed flight, leading to a vertical ascent. This maneuver imposes a significant load on the aircraft, causing a rapid decrease in speed. Additionally, as the aircraft pitches up vertically, its radar cross-section increases, making it easily detectable by enemy radar. However, despite the risk of radar detection, the Cobra Maneuver remains effective for evading enemy missile attacks. Even if detected by the enemy radar, the maneuver holds significance if it allows the aircraft to successfully evade missile attacks. Nevertheless, executing the Cobra Maneuver requires high pilot proficiency, and the aircraft must meet certain performance standards. Moreover, given the substantial load placed on the aircraft, concerns about potential damage to the airframe arise. Therefore, the Cobra Maneuver should be employed as a last resort for evading enemy missile attacks, considering its implications for radar visibility and the demanding skill and performance requirements.